Hi, wealthy people! So in today's video, I am going to show you guys how we take care of our piglets for maximum growth and profit in our piglet business. So by the way, before we get started, um, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone, especially my new subscribers, my old, loyal old subscribers, and the rest that are becoming subscribers. Because we're already a growing family, we went from no subscribers at all from, to 300 subscribers and counting strong. So I really appreciate it. It warms my heart. And for today's video, as mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you guys how we take good care of our piglets so that we can make sure that they will grow healthy and free of weaning land. So at any rate, um, for those of you, of you who that are new in this channel. So hi, my name is Kez and I make videos about how to make, save, and invest money for Filipinos and all the people that are interested in um, venturing into business in the Philippines. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. Also make sure that you, you hit the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my new videos in the future once it's uploaded. So anyway... <laughs> So just in context of the few videos that I'm going to show you in a few minutes, we're going to do three main things and that's clipping their teeth, um, also docking their tail and at the same time giving them their first dose of iron. So for those who are curious and uh, while we do this, but if you're not curious, just go ahead and skip it. Um, around. I'll just put a timestamp below. But for those who are curious, we're doing or we're clipping their teeth, we're docking their tail, and giving them iron injection. Is because for number one, um, teeth clipping will give your sows um, a pain-free experience in milking their piglets. So that's also um, giving the piglets a chance to suckle more, more milk from their mother. Thus. Um, they grow immediately growing healthy and recovering from the stressful um, birthing experience that they just had. So, most farms I would see that they do it um, immediately after birth, but um, based on experience and anecdotal evidence um, in our farm, we, we do it after 24 hours, not immediately after birth because um, evidence um, shows um, in the few um, research that I did it's, it's that piglets only bite the other of the sow or the teeth uh, the teeth of the sow if the sow doesn't have milk but if the sow has sufficient milk that they can suckle it is very vital that you don't cut the piglets um, teeth immediately because that will cause them to um, are hurt and eventually they will not be able suckle the colostrum that is being uh, that's supposed to be suckled within our, around 8 to 12 hours from immediately after birth so cutting their teeth will cause them to slowly and not being able to, uh, to, to suckle slowly so they will not be able to get the necessary colostrum that they're supposed to get because you already cut their teeth just imagine if um, uh, moments after birth you're going to cut your teeth so it's very painful experience that's also the reason why we do it only after 24 hours so going to number two is tail docking and uh, this is also based on evidence but also supported by our own experience at the farm that tail docking really can incite cannibalism so to avoid those things uh, we do cut uh, pattern, uh, all of our pig, uh, pigs, uh, we do dock their tail so that we can avoid cannibalism. And uh, for those of you who are curious, I just uh, leave in the description what cannibalism and pigs are. What does it mean? So number three also, we give them their first dose of iron injection. So this is a simultaneous act of um, uh, teeth clipping tail docking and iron injection uh, after 24 hours uh, from their birth so that 
um, you can minimize stress because um, winning lag, one of the major factors of winning lag is also the stress that you're giving your piglets while they're, they're still in their lactating days. So to avoid that, we do batch our, our processing of taking up nursing them so they can just grow and without um, human intervention within their lactating days. So going back, we do give iron injections twice. First, is that we give the first dose um, 24 hours after your birth and the second um, dose is will be given um, 10 to 14 days after the first dose is administered. Uh, because uh, iron shots are necessary because piglets are apparently born with limited uh, amount of iron and they need iron um, to survive their daily lactating process because uh, they don't have enough access to iron. So these pigs that we keep in our farm are in their pens so they won't be able to naturally dig into the soil which has natural iron contents. So. In lieu of not being able to have those iron access, so we give them um, two iron shots. It's one ml uh, per piglet. So I guess uh, that's uh, the explanation why we do these things. And let's now get to the video so that you will see the action and how we actually do it. And major shout out to uh, Sir Iman uh, Emanuelito Cisante of Uno feeds, Uno feeds for helping us out. Sir, you're one of the major things that I'm very thankful while we're away in the farm. So thank you so much and kudos to you. Keep up the good work. <laughs> 